One of my favorite treats I ate growing up in Puerto Rico were quesitos, cream cheese filled puff pastries. <laughs> <laughs> Today I live in Chicago with Mark, and sadly there aren't any really good Puerto Rican bakeries. But we just found out that with phyllo dough, you can not only make quesitos at home, but you can cut the calories in half. Mm. So you're going to be dee dee instead of dee dee dee. <laughs> 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 Joining us is one of the most beautiful drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race season six, the delicious April Carrion. Welcome Hello. to Cooking with Drag Queens. Hi, Hi girl. How, How are, are you guys? Besitos. Quesitos for, besitos for quesitos. Yes, Moneda, <laughs> yes. This is going to be awesome. I you remember like, having, like, making these, like, quesitos when I was, like, uh, a kid, you know, a young lady. You grew, you grew up in the mountains of Puerto Rico. I did, I did. And your grandma ran a bakery. No, my aunt your ran aunt. a, yeah, she ran a bakery, and then um, she would, you know, we would be her slaves, me and my brother, and we would, like, just do, like, quesitos and pastelillitos and everything for her, but it was so much fun. I mean, we, we just, to play, like, with flour and, like. You know, stuff our noses with flour and shit like that. <laughs> what was your favorite, like, treat that your aunt made for you guys? I think... I'd probably be flan. Flan de queso. Oh, really? Yeah. What's flan de queso? Flan is like flan. Okay. But, um, like cheese flan. Oh. oh it was so yummy. So it's she... flan mixed with cream cheese in it. Um, yes, 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 yes. And she still makes it, like, for her birthdays and for Christmas and all that shit, Thanksgiving. And I still love it so much. Now, on RuPaul's Drag Race, Adam Lambert, the American Idol celebrity, fell in love with you. Or he had a, took a shining to you. I know, right? He, okay, he can't resist my Puerto Rican, like, ness, I guess, you know? <laughs> so well, you're a very good-looking guy and, and girl as I well, and so you. maybe he was just attracted to you. I guess, you know, maybe my, I don't know, my, my ass is filled with casitos, so he probably was attracted <laughs> to that. So whatever. <laughs> Well, Adam, these quesitos are just for you. Yes, just Adam, baby. So come and get them. Yes. But you have a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend. And he's very, he's Latino, Puerto Rican. Of course, yes. And Puerto yes. Rican men get very jealous. Yes, so Adam better watch out, huh? I know, right? But it's just Adam, you know. It's just a one-time thing, you know. <laughs> I, I bet he won't get mad. Are you though. allowed to one off every now and then? I guess, but he doesn't need to know though. <laughs> Let's just keep, keep it between well, us. Well, celebrities right? sometimes make you sign like non disclosure agreements. Like if you sleep with them, you have to like sign something and say you Oh, really? But he doesn't yet. need to sign that with me. He can just brag about it to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I had sex with April Carrion. I know, right? So uh, let's get started. In order to do this, you're going to need these ingredients, which will hold up. And we'll also write them underneath the notes. But that's yeah. Chinese, though. That's what? Not... This is not Chinese. This is Middle Eastern. Oh, really? This is phyllo dough. Mm -hmm. I don't even... I've, I've never heard of that. It's, and you're gonna it's need the same a... stuff that they make like baklava with or like spanikopita. So it's nice and fluffy and pasty. I don't even know what that is either, but we'll, let's we'll get, yeah. uh, You will see it. It's amazing. Oh, fuck You're yeah. going to need a stick of butter. Yes. You're going to need some pastry flours. Fuck. Some confectioner sugar. Yes. Some table sugar. I like to use organic unbleached sugar and you're gonna of course get yourself a box of cream cheese yes. now if you want to cut the calories even more you're gonna use new chatel but mark doesn't like the flavor of it it's just you know if you're gonna go for full-on fat go on for full -on i know fat. right you that's flavor, my point yeah you know you want quesitos yeah. you don't want like some crappy yes. stuff i don't know so and you vanilla? can also do this and vanilla and sugar and fuck yeah and uh, lots of pastry brushes, honey. Yeah. And if you if you have any pastry brushes left over, you can just use it. Yes, to yes, blend yes, my yes. yes. Oh, by the way, is that a lace front or is that you? No, it's all me. This is all my natural hair. You see that? Honey, yes. I see it. It must have hurt me. like hell to bleach that. Uh, no, it's just me natural. I didn't bleach it or anything. It's just me. Yes. All those, all those Rubia. blondes in Puerto Rico. Yes, I guess. Serving up charitín goico realness. Yes, you know how it is. 
is. Judy no. and everything, you know. For so, the kids at home who don't know who Charitín Goico is, I'll say what Nina Flores said about La Lupe. Google it. Google yes, it. Google it. You don't know who she is? Google it. Google it. Charitín Goico. She's yeah. still alive. She is. She's a mummy now. That's a chair. A chair, you know. She's a... Latin share, I guess. She's the share of, of uh, Dominican Republic and now in Puerto Rico, and she's loved everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Definitely. you had a comedy show and a singing career, and she was like, she thought she was Brigitte Nielsen for a while. For real, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But she's so gorgeous, though. You know, all those plastic surgeries, and you know, look good on mm-hmm. her. So we're gonna get started. Uh, you're gonna get some your cream cheese, Mark, and, and like what a they teaspoon do? of cream cheese, or depending on how how vanilla you want. A I teaspoon love of vanilla. Or a box of cream cheese and a teaspoon of vanilla. That's cute. Yes, papi. Put it in and there. And then some sugar. Yeah. Sweeten it up. Just for one of these things, maybe two two tablespoons of sugar. You want oh, yeah. it sweet but not too sweet because you're also going to put sugar on the outside. That. And then would you like to mix that up? Um, I, I, um, or will your, will your nails pop off? No, I, I'll mix it. <laughs> It's, okay, cool. But we're good? mixing this. It's, it looks really yummy. Not really. Look at this. <laughs> Mira que rico. Oh, yes. So mm. now, how did, April, how did you get get into drag? I got into drag because I'm an art student. And uh, I, I don't know, I just got fascinated seeing all these drag queens. And like, just the fact that they transcend a gender. Mm-hmm. And then I started doing like art projects because of that. And one day I just decided just to take over and like document the whole thing. Okay. Like in photographs and shit like that. And and actually enter like a competi- uh, competition, which Madame Laqueer was hosting. Madame Laqueer, who yeah. was on season four, five? Four, four. Four, four. four. Season four, 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 yeah, yeah. How okay. big is that mole on her face? Oh. <laughs> Can you show me with like a clump of cream cheese? Yeah, probably okay. like that big. So, yeah. Clump of <laughs> just a little. No, I don't want to them. Just a little, you know, kind of more. <laughs> but <Pero>, yeah, <laughs> but she's an amazing talent. No, she, she is. She truly forward. is. She cooks casitos, I bet. Oh, you know? I bet she does. I bet she, she doesn't finish it though, because she, she'll eat everything before. Men I men know. Men. Fausto's sister bought us uh, casitos when we were in Puerto Rico, and I was in the back seat. She handed me the bag. I ate them all in the back seat. And I was like, Can I have a casito? I'm like, I'm yes. sorry, I ate them all. So. Yes, que rico. I love casitos. That's why. So you want to have your phyllo dough at room temperature. Uh, what I recommend, because it's usually sold in the freezer section of your grocery store, is to leave it overnight in your fridge. So it'll be thawed. Because if it's not, it'll be brittle. And I you just open this shit up. This doesn't look so And it doesn't have there. to be uh, perfectly blended. Okay. Well, so let's have a little bit of that flour over here. So I can and we're, and you're going to put surface. some flour on your work surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll put it in front of you, too, so that all three of us can make quesitos. Yes, que now, rico. If, when you're making quesitos or when you're working with uh, fi- filo dough, filo dough if, if it's just you by yourself, you might want to have a damp cloth on top of the pile because it will dry out. But because it's just the, th- the three of us, and we'll probably work pretty quickly through it, um, you don't necessarily need to do that. Or we may make mess it up. You don't know. Yeah, right. But I don't know. We, this is the first time we've ever made this. For real? You never made quesitos? <laughs> we've never made quesitos before. I just I just Googled it, loca. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so you pull out your uh, phyllo dough, and it's stretched out like this. I'm going to move the microphone out of the sun. Mm-hmm. So you can, guys can see it. And it's these thin sheets. And... Let me just pull it out. And is that like, uh, like they're very flour. fragile? Is it like flour though? So yeah. it's flour, and uh, I'm not sure what else is in it. It's just it, eggs and water, and, water and, and it's and just salt. It's super, super like. And the idea is for these for fi- for filo dough is you really want its layering. So what and happens? You can use this as is, a as a costume material too. And so what happens is when you when you work with this, the you put the butter on it, and in between the layers, the butter kind of explodes. And makes it crispy. Okay, cool. So let me uh, show. I don't know if uh, you can see this or not, but I'm gonna brush the the butter on the phyllo. This and looks you like go, wax paper, though. It is, right? It is. And here, why don't you guys? Uh, Does this taste brush. good, though? I want to taste. It's delicious. Oh, let yeah. me see. It's bread, honey. Oh no, it's not gonna taste good right now. No, not really. It's it's you have to. Uh, no. You have to put the butter on it, and then you need to brown it in the oven. Oh, I know. So you're going to fold it like a, in thirds, like this. And then, so you're going to get a, a tubito, a tube. And then you're going to brush some butter on top. 
Hurry up! The people need to eat. I think we all just want to do this perfectly. Not so much butter. Yeah, not so much butter. You don't want it too buttery. So then you take a little spoonful of queso crema. I think mine's gonna cheese. be the most healthiest one because it has the most butter. And then you just fold it in little triangles, like an origami. Perate, perate! I'm unlocked. Perate! Wait, 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 wait! No, I'll show you again. Okay, 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 okay. So fold this over like this. Like a hot dog. Hot, hot dog. Yes. Folding. And then this. Okay, okay, okay. Like yeah. that. Yeah. And then you uh, brush a little more butter here. Oh, don't Good. tell me that. Oh, I will, I will put some butter in there. <laughs> butter! Give me butter! Hey, Chile, butter, 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 let's, uh, butter. Let's, let, let's teach the audience uh, Spanish. What's butter in Espanol? Butter is mantequilla. Mantequilla. Mantequilla, which can also mean manteca. And manteca means grease and fat. Mmm. Yes. Do you ever uh, have alcapurrias, which is like fried seafood fritters in um, aviones? In aviones? No, no. In, in Isla Verde? Piñones. Well, piñones, in, in piñones. In piñones, yes, yes, yes. I did some pictures in piñones, you know, just being all glam and eating a bacalaito in piñones all dressed up. It was so much fun. Tell people what piñones is. Piñones is like a, a like a really famous beach around um, the airport, I guess. And mm -hmm. then... Um, and it's puro, how do you say, hibarito? Yeah, it's like, like it's culture. It's, that's yeah. where the culture is in Puerto Rico. Like everything you eat there, the climate, it's next to the beach. You get a cold beer. You have a medalla. You have to have a medalla. You can't go and get What's a course like a medalla. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't take like a course like like a margarita, whatever. You need mm -hmm. a medalla, alcapurria, a bacalaito, you know, like some like. And Puerto everything's Ricanas. fried, and the, the their deep fryers are Minus wood this. fires. Is that fine? <laughs> you see little but, ladies with a wood. I didn't fire. put it there. Okay, so you're gonna open it up this all the way open. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you're gonna put your little cream cheese here. Okay, I'll put it in the corner. You can use your nails to pull. There you go. <laughs> just make sure those nails are clean. No, they are. I just got them. And then you're gonna <laughs> fold it like a little in a like little triangle. Oh, okay, it's like origami. Oh, yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. And then I'll keep on folding. See, I see. So coming up soon is the season finale of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. Who who so are you rooting for? But I like all the th well all the three girls that are left. But uh, I think. Bianca is really awesome, and I really, really love her. Um, I think Adore is adorable, but um, and Courtney is quite good as well. I love Courtney as well, but I just Here. think Bianca is, you know, is cool, mm -hmm. and she deserves to win. I think she's got a mouth on her. I know, right? Did she? Uh, did she but, read you for anything? But she better not. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she better don't. I know she can't, Bonita, because if not, I'll read her back back in Spanish, so she can't come for me, you know. Uh, oh, but I just say to her when I uh, I saw her. And I, I have her name for her. She's like puta sucia, you know? Which means... <laughs> Dirty whore. No, no, it doesn't. For hey, me, I, I just... I'm... Tommy, is the, is the camera rolling? Is the red light on? Okay, I just want to make sure. Sometimes we light? we record these things and then, you know, and we forgot to hit the record button. Ay, That's bendito. horrible. Dios mío. Ay, Dios mío. Ay, Dios mío. Put everything in the oven. So we're going to uh, make a couple more of these. And, uh, oh, excuse me. So oh, I want to know, uh, you won the 2011 Miss Crash Puerto Rico pageant, which is one of the biggest drag queen pageants in all of Latin America. It, it is. Well, it was, because, bendito, it, um, that, um, Crash closed up. Yeah. Oh, it did? Yeah, it did. The, oh, that was the biggest, oldest gay bar in Yeah, Sanon. yeah, yeah, and in the Caribbean. But uh, yeah, I was the last queen. I'm still a queen, so I still have my um crown. So you you ruined it for everyone. You I know. Closed, you closed that club down. I can nobody nobody could ever like you know. <laughs> they be could, they, they couldn't beat you, so they said let's just sh yeah let's just shut down. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I, for real, I'm not like into really pageants. Like I, I wouldn't consider myself a pageant girl because I don't even like pageants. Why don't you like pageants? Because Too fishy? I don't know. It's just it categorizes you. You know, like it categorizes you into like something and it's just that you know and like performing I love performing and um, 
like performing you have so much freedom you can do whatever you want mm -hmm. and like embrace i don't know and just like being a pageant you need to be this this and that and i'm not all about that i mean i come from an art background so whatever because you, you do... went to art school and you were fascinated with drag and that's what got you started doing. yeah drag. but not because of being all pretty and shit uh -huh. but just because the you know the Cons the concept of transcending a gender and just being different, like being different than whatever what you are, like in mm -hmm. your nature. Do you, do you identify as as a gay man or as definitely. a transgender? Definitely, no, 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 definitely, or... no. I I am a gay man. Yeah. A gay Puerto Rican man, yes. And although I would say there's there's a little bit of a transgender component to wanting to express yourself in a, as in a feminine spirit. Well, definitely, I think. Um, um, well, in, in Puerto Rico, uh, in Spanish, we have so many like terms that we don't have in English, like trans transformista. Transformista is What's like it, it's a drag queen. It's but in Spanish, and we still have the prefix trans, which is you know part of the trans community and we, and over here people don't consider drag queens as part of the trans community well and a lot of people are kind of upset right now with like uh, Conchita Worst because she just won Eurovision and some trans yeah. people say that like that's not really a good image for us but I don't know I just think any kind of image that kind of breaks down those gender binaries is really yeah like I'm all forward. about that I mean that's why I, I, I live for it for I really enjoy milk um mm -hmm. milk's kind of drag because it's different and, and you know it doesn't need to be fishy it doesn't need to be whatever everybody mm. has seen so it's just free and that's what drag should be you know just being different and just being free and just being whatever you want to be in that moment so um but so yeah, you like milk's mustache Yeah, yeah, I definitely, well, not not his mustache, but just whatever he stands for, you know, he's fun. And plus, he's cute, right? That milk is cute. Yes. Uh, 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 of all yes. the other ones that we've met, you're the cutest of them all. Ay, que lindo. Of course, I'm saying that because she's right here. Right I know, now. right? He better. <laughs> he milk better. Cute, But you don't pad. This is all you. It is. There's no padding no there. Padding no padding here. Yeah, yeah. What? Yes, that no is padding. a Puerto like Rican that. booty, honey. Yes, those are mm -hmm. quesitos, bacalaitos, alcapurria. Everything you want is here. That, <laughs> you know, that's is that the secret it. to a Puerto Rican butt? Uh, yeah, dogs. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> So, no, Carrion is your uh, family's last name. Yeah, I decided to keep it, yeah. Because you're like the Paris Hilton of drag queens because the Carrions are the rich Banco Popular family. They're like a banking family. Oh, uh, yeah, well, they they are. Uh, But you're uh, not. I'm not part of that, you okay. know. I'm like the poor end of the, of the Carrions, you know. But so you can't like go up to them and be like, Give me my money. Bitch, give me, give me money. <laughs> yeah, give me my allowance. No. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I want my hotel, bitch. Yeah, no, no, no. I can't go up. To, well, I, I could, but I won't. But so, so you actually know them personally? Um, like no. you could go to the Christmas party? No, not really. <laughs> There no. are two things that Puerto Ricans love more than anything else. What is Drag that? queens and Christmas. Yeah, oh, Christmas. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. We love a good party and we love our drag queens. Uh, RuPaul's Drag Race actually is one of the top rated television shows in Puerto Rico. Did you know that? Really? Of producing the United States. Well, drag is also something else in Puerto Rico. I mean, I see, I go on YouTube and I watch some of the videos of those port, those drag queen shows and I'm just like, I'm amazed at just how elaborate they are. Because we go all out because it's not just about being fishy, you know, it's all, it's all about performing and giving a good show, give it, giving, you know, something different right. that, you know, we haven't seen. And that's why we have like, and plus we have like a huge team over there. There's a person who does your makeup, your hair, your costume, and also we do have a team over there. Which is awesome. So the next step is once you have your quesitos made, you arrange them in, so, in a way so they don't stick, touch each other on the on the cookie sheet, and you get yourself an egg. An egg. A huevo. But I don't, this is kind of weird, Mendito. And you crack the egg into a bowl, which we already cracked ahead of time, and you whip it. Whip it good. And the reason that I like to put the little egg wash on top of it is because it keeps the uh phyllo dough from drying out and it gives it a pretty color golden hue. golden color yes and there's and a richness too with the yeah. egg that adds to it so let's get them tan yes. oh wait a minute you're here why don't you do that <laughs> I, I'll do this. Right, queens put them to work i know right uh, do you mind actually cleaning the bathroom when you're done Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> she is puerto rican oh i am puerto rican not mexican bitch. oh <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she better did it. Yes. <laughs> so you're gonna uh, brush egg whites. Meanwhile, you wanted to preheat the oven to 350, and you're gonna bake I'm these sorry. for sorry. 15 minutes. 
before you do that, you get some granulated sugar. I like using organic unbleached sugar because it tastes a little bit better. And you sprinkle it on top of your quesitos. Because you need more sugar Faster. and more sweetness. The people need to eat, April. Ay, Dios mío, I, I can't work in a restaurant. It's too much pressure. Mira esto, ay, Dios mío. <laughs> you worked in a bakery as a kid. You were well, telling me. Well, I was a slave. You know, I had to. What do you mean you were a slave? You were forced by your yeah, office yeah. to do it. No, but it was cute, though. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I, I worked at a pastry when I was in high school. Oh, really? Fre Frederick's. I worked as a baker. In East Love. Oh, really? For real? For a little, for a little while, yeah. That's it's like so one of my side jobs. So we have bakery. Like, we have bakery. Oh, yeah. We could open up our own. I know. Oh, what time did you wake up is. in the morning? Oh. Oh, what time did you wake up in the morning? Somebody's calling you, April. Um, it's like I, jealous boy. I, I guess, right? He, he heard about Adam. At the... <laughs> He's like... We you would come act, home now. I know, well. right? But I haven't seen him. So you're going to bake these in an oven, 350 degree oven for 15 minutes, and they're going to come out... Why don't you know? Yes! For 15 minutes. And they're gonna come out like this, looking like this. Uy, que bonito! Yes. Yes. Nice and golden. And, beautiful. and so you're gonna pull out some confectioner's sugar. Yes, 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 yes. And you're going to, here, April, help me with this. Dale, dale. I'm so glad that you have a uh, cooking experience. No, you're, you're the most knowledgeable drag queen and baking that we've ever had. Oh, really? Benito, yeah. but creo que the other ones are stupid then. Well, if Sharon Needles was here right now, she'd be trying to snort this. Stuff. I know, she'd right? Like, can I, can I, you know? <laughs> She's like, no, Benito. This is what, here's my, uh, Sharon Now, do you like your quesito with coffee, or how do you like your quesito? I like my quesitos with, like, warm. They have to be warm. And with leche. Ooh, so we can bring milk over, you know, bring milk, este, entonces, so we can have coffee as well. Here, I got some coffee here for us. But I mean, I also love, my favorite drink to drink always is orange juice. I mean, I'll have oh. pizza with orange juice, Ooh, I'll have cheating, whatever. Right? Yeah. But uh, yeah. So I like sugar. And so we made some f espresso, Puerto Rican style. Yes, que lindo, that's mm -hmm. awesome. That's how my boyfriend does it still. And, uh... So is that sugar. enough sugar? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Here, Mark, so we you put, serve us? So we yeah, put... Absolutely. Okay, cool. Here. Uh, just, just Let's throw that in the sink. Here. Okay. So here we are. Gastitos. Better let me clean my hands. I gotta get this powder sugar or people are gonna think I'm a coke addict. A dealer, maybe you can get money. I have almond milk. Would you like it, some almond milk with your, uh... What is that? Almond milk? It's like fake milk. But with almonds, you know. It's milk made out of almonds. I guess you fancy because we don't have that in Puerto Rico. <laughs> they do, but you have to buy it at a specialty store. Oh, but I guess I'm not so special. I just get cow milk. I well, so because you're living in Guaynabo now, right? Yes, I do live in Guaynabo, which is a city's like suburbs, I guess you can say, right? Yeah. yeah. You can dip these. It's, it's the suburbs of San Juan, and, and it's uh, close to, uh, it's pretty much like the really nice neighborhood. Is that where Mall of America is there? Yeah. Or the big mall? Well, that's Plaza Torre. Plaza America. That's Plaza Torre. Uh, uh, salud. Buen Quesitos. Provecho. Buen provecho. Salud. Boricua to the max. Oh, <laughs> que rico. Mm. Mm. How are they, seriously speaking? If they don't taste good, just tell us. They're, they're good, they're good. They're, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Not, they're, rico. they're very different though, right? They're a little... Um, yeah, these aren't Puerto wider. Rican quesitos. But they are good. Pastry, it's filo dough. But they are really good though. Are you dipping that? Mm -hmm. are you coffee. Oh, Honey, yeah. yes. Are, are you mm. dipping that as I'm well? I'm dipping, yes. I'm a dipper. What? Oh. Bitch. Now what is, uh, besides quesitos, what's your favorite dish to make? Mofongo. Mm. Mm. I love mofongo. Which is like smashed plantain. Oh, with Mofong bacon grease. Well, bitch, you, you cook weird. I've never <laughs> heard about that. They put really? bacon in mofongo. Yes, look, look Google it. Google. <laughs> well, how do you make your mofongo? I just make it with lots of garlic and adobo. You, you know, Puerto Ricans put adobo into everything, you know? So, so mofongo is smashed plantain with like garlic. And then don't you like make a sauce or put either with something like this is adobo or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you put it with mayo ketchup, which is you eat everything mm. with mayo ketchup as well in Puerto Rico, which is mayonnaise and ketchup together with a bunch mm. of garlic as well, I guess. <laughs> and it's so amazing. I'm just gonna dip it just to try it. Yeah. So we're gonna tape an entire hour-long podcast with April Carrion. 
And it's available on our website, feastofun.com. I want to thank you so much for joining us on Cooking with Drag Queens. Yes. yes. And if you like Fausto's t-shirt, a hunty t-shirt, it's a cooking school. The school is open. Are you kidding me? You, yeah. We you, sell them. We sell them at our, our website, feastofun.com slash store. Puneta, that's amazing. I love that. Well, uh, lots lots of one. What size are you? Extra, extra, extra small. Okay, I've got them for you. I'm a girl. April, thank you so much. You're so beautiful and so charming. I thank you. Thank you for thank having you. me. Thank you for cooking with us. Yeah, next time we'll, we'll do more fungos. Okay. Okay. Do you want to make more? Yeah, no, for real. I'm for coming real. next time. I'll, I'll do more fungos and I'll bring plantains from Puerto Rico. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye.